Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and this is our third video on the React JS with the progressive web app and in this video we will set up our project. So we will create a project with the help of create react app, then we will check out the folder structure, then uh, we will add uh, the bootstrap and we will also add the bootstrap navigation so that in the upcoming video we can just set up the routing and uh, it will automatically provide us the responsive web application all right so that it will just save the lots of time in case of html and css and after that we will check the api url because in the upcoming video we will also use the api so that we can check that how data is working with the offline and other things and keep in mind that node.js and npm should be installed in your project so i'm just going to open my command line and let's go inside a desktop folder then pwa and here you can see that we have a one folder which is the pwa but i'm just going to create a new one so that just right here npx first thing that you have to just check that npm minus v is installed and node minus v should be installed all right so if these are not installed then you can ask me i will help you if you are just facing any kind of problem all right so just start npm npx create react app and i will just write here pwa app pwa minus app all right so it will just take a little bit of time so that i'm just going to pause the video uh, we will save the length and our time also in this case so our application is installed here so now let's open this folder inside the code editor so i am just going to close this one right and uh, let's go inside the pwa app and just write here code dot it will automatically open this structure inside our code editor all right so now let's uh, look out the structure first of all uh, the very important file is package.json any kind of dependencies any kind of uh, script or a uh, version or name and everything is uh, mentioned here so if you just want to change the version and anything then we can just change from here all right so after that package minus log.json it will just keep keep the logs of the package package.json but uh, we never uh, make any kind of change in the package minus log.json file we always work with the package.json file all right so you can ignore it for a moment after that uh, node modules and uh, here all dependencies and all packages that belongs to the npm are installed here all right and keep in mind that this folder should uh, never should be pushed on git and all because this is a very you can say that the heavy folder so it will just take lots of space and lots of time to push and pull all right after that uh, public uh, public folder and here we will have our first page index.html here you can see that if i'm just going to put here p w a then you can see the title of our website for that let's uh, just write here npm start and uh, it will start our project in the browser here you can see that the title is pwa app which is just coming from here that's why this is our first html entry file and there is a more file these are the logos then uh, manifest json file it will be very helpful in the case of pwa so that we will just discuss this file in the upcoming videos uh, i will just make a separate video on this complete file because this is very important okay after that uh, uh, let's look out the src folder this is a folder we just uh, write our most of the code here all right so first file is index.js this is our first javascript uh, entry file and here you can see that css is added here application is added here all right and one more thing that in the last two previous video we talked lots about the service worker so there is already file is made here but uh, this is already provided by the react js but we are not going to use it we will just make it from the very scratch because this is the lots of code is written here so that this is very difficult if you are a beginner level in the js and the react so that you cannot understand it so in the upcoming video i will just remove it and we will write the service worker code from the very scratch right so we can just want to uncomment 
torment it for a moment and you can remove it if you want after that this is the uh, react dome here you can see that an application is in injected here and it will just inject with the root id and root id is present inside the this folder here okay so uh, we will start always work with the app.js file and uh, our code will start from the here so now we understand the basic structure also so now let's uh, install the react bootstrap also so just write here npm install react bootstrap space bootstrap right and just uh, make the spell correct and just hit the enter so the during the time this is installed let's look out the official website of react bootstrap so just right here react bootstrap and when you just click on it yep this is going on okay so when you just click on it and click on the get started you will find that the same command is given here to install this after that we have to just include the css there is a two way to include the css one is you can uh, use uh, css for every component like button navigation bar and all the second way that you can just include your complete css inside the index.js or app.js all right because these are the two base files this is also installed now let's look out the here and if you just going to make it uh, add this file inside the um index.js here all right and what is going to do it will just add the css from uh, node modules and here it will find the bootstrap let's look out the bootstrap here where is bootstrap this one then it will go for the dist css and it will just get the css from these files css dot min dot this one this one right okay so now after doing this now let's check out check out the file here you can see that the little bit color font size everything is changed right that's fine now let's uh, see that how we can add uh, the navigation for that first of all let's go in the app.js and clear out these things okay then uh, our application is totally blank now uh, and let's find out the navigation why i am just going to copy from here so that uh, it can save our time mine as well as uh, your when you are just uh, uh, trying to make an examples and all all right and you will find that how we can just copy and paste code simply so now there is a lots of navigation bar but i am just going to find out a special one which is the blue color and for that let's get this code only all right this is fair enough and uh, now let's paste this code here and we have to import something from the react bootstrap import something from react bootstrap and here we have to import the navigation bar which is here then nav um okay that's my bad i have to just copy from <laughs> i have to import from here then nav uh, okay okay and we don't need this form so that i can just remove it from here and let's look out that what we are getting here uh this is not refreshed yet i think okay so now you can see that we have a simple page there is a no data here because we have to add the Uh, react routing also and we will do it in the next video because uh, it will take around 5 to 8 minutes so that we will make a separate video for it all right so okay so now let's go out the last point with the api so obviously we are just making a pwa website so that uh, we must have an some apis to in uh, to use them that's why i have a dummy api this link is given in the description box also all right and if you don't know what is the api link is given in the description box and this 
link is uh, uh, from the another channel because on that channel I just make only uh, the programming videos and uh, if what is API is kind of theoretical video that's why I just upload it in my another channel you can find out the video from that one all right so here you can see that uh, there is some users like first user second third and fourth so we will render this list and uh, we will see that how api will work with the pwa also right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel because i have to make the lots of uh, more video on the pwa bye bye take care